Hey gang, how you doing? Just uh, wheeling in the rest of these torque thrust type wheels and tires for this 57 Chevy. And I, since you're here and hanging out a little bit on a weekday, <clears throat> I had a couple questions. I've got questions a lot, actually. Uh, why, do, why do I work on cars all day long? Sometimes Saturdays kill myself to make a living for the family and then come home and on the weekends work on cars working on cars originally was my hobby as a kid as a youngster built the little models we talked about that before built the little models and and just dreamed of having a 57 Chevy an old Cadillac I never really dreamed of working on an MGA but here I am it's still a cool little car <clears throat> but what I found is working on this stuff which is totally different at least to me to other people it may not be to other people this is all the same it's just manual labor getting dirty why would you want to do that all the time what this does for me is helps me appreciate my day job it helps me appreciate why I got into that job and into that business in the first place. My dream was to work on cars for a living. Well, had I known, I might do something different and do this for fun. Well, now we're making videos of what I do for fun. So it takes, takes uh, more time. It adds a little bit more stress and and to an extent some thought to what I do and if I didn't care and I didn't care about views to be honest I do I really do I would just do whatever and post it up there and not worry about editing or anything like that but I do care I want to be good at what I do I want to do the best I can do at whatever I do give my 150 percent and if it doesn't work out Man, I can blame everything and everybody else but me, <laughs> right? And like tonight, I, I I planned on making a video of working on that on that 3500 square body dually, and it didn't work out. My parts showed up like five minutes before I was even going to come out here and do anything. And then the kid got home, and it was a whole thing. All right. But I came out here and I tried. I came out here and was going to do something. Well, we're doing something. I'm sitting on a wheel and tire looking at my 57 Chevy. It could be worse. <laughs> it could be a lot worse. Got a cold drink right here. You know I always do. So listen, when it comes to all that, I'm doing my best to mix things up. And it's not on purpose. It's because... I have what I have to do. That MGA has to get finished. That white truck needs to be running again and moving around and, and be usable again. This 57, I just want to work on it. That's This car is why I'm into all this. That type of project is why. So if you see me jump from one car to the other and this and that, it's, it's not because that's not because I don't like views on the on the the YT there but it's because I have to get that car done I told somebody I would do do something I told Ralph I was gonna paint it fix it up make it a nice car for him to drive around in and be proud of and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna work on this 57 because that's what I want I'm gonna work on that white truck because that's what my wife wants my wife wants that yep and I want it to. It's my father-in-law's and he's, he's special to me. So I got all this stuff to do. Now it's not like I can work on that and work on that or work on that and not make a video of it because you'd never see a video. I don't have that much time. I have very limited time. Sometimes I come out here and do something for an hour and go back in the house because that's all I have the time for. I'm no different than, than, than you guys find the time you squeeze the time you get done with what you want like that old motorhome I couldn't afford to buy that thing 
If I'd have bought that thing nice and brand new, all ready to go, I'd still be paying payments on it for the next 15 years. No, I bought it cash. No one, it needed a lot of work, a lot of going over, and, and we're still going through that process. But sometimes, if you want something bad enough, you'll make it happen. It's 57 Chevy. That's going to be the nicest 57 Chevy in, around here. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Bad to the bone. That MGA is going to make Ralph proud. He's going to look go good going down the road with his brunette girlfriend that he hadn't even met yet. He might have met her. I don't know. But just wanting to tell you guys, man, don't, don't, uh, if you don't have time, you don't have the money, you don't have the space, dang it, you can figure it out. You want to bad enough, you will figure it out. You'll figure something out. Yep. I promise you, you will. Now, sitting here watching me is great. And all the other YouTubers that you and I both like to watch, that's awesome. Do that. You learn a lot from it, because I always did. Maybe not from me, but them guys, the, the good ones. But really, seriously, get out there and work on your car. Get off your butt, go do it, right? You want a 57 Chevy? Go buy a four-door that's a complete turd that doesn't have a title and figure out how to get the title, because I did, by the way, so you know. And, and do what you got to do. That's what you want, you're going to do it. Trust me. All right, so coming this week, this weekend, we're going to do a little project on this 57 Chevy that was a four-door and is now a two-door. Uh, it's going to steer us in the right direction. Wink, wink. See you guys later. Take it easy. Oh, by the way, you want to see some set-down videos like this? If you're into that sort of thing, I'll put a I'll put a link up here that you can click on it. All right, the MGA. I'll put that up here somewhere over here, and the '57 Chevy. I'll put that up here somewhere. I'll put them all in there so you, you can reverse and go and, and see what I'm talking about. Right. All right. We'll see you kids Sunday at noon. Don't miss. I appreciate you. Later. Oh, these wheels out of here. <laughs>